Hi, what is up people and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'll be showing you how to decently fix your CPU bottleneck in game. Now as you guys can see I got my right um, I'm sorry, my Xeon X566 processor here. Um, I overclocked it to 4 GHz, so you would expect that it actually performs really good in game, right? Um, now it really actually doesn't. And this might be because of a reason that I am or at least a reason that I don't really know why it happens but it just does and there is a not that hard of a fix for it and um, so there's actually only we're gonna use a program called Processor Lasso this program is actually um, somewhat identical to Windows Task Manager but a little bit more advanced and you can use some more features that Windows Task Manager simply does not have now before uh, let's just get started and before we do and uh, do any changes before we set up um, Processor Lasso, let's first um, test some games without the setting enabled. So I'm going to start up Steam and I'm going to um, start up a game. So today we're going to be testing um, Surgency Sandstorm because it's a pretty demanding game, both CPU and GPU wise, I think. And um, it's a good test at, uh, at the least. So we're going to. Alright, so as you guys can see, these are all the different uh, threads I have in my. Uh, CPU so it's not actually the cores because obviously I only have a six core so it's two threads per core so that makes it 12 in total so it's not a 12 core it's actually a six core but I guess you guys know that so we are now loading in insurgency as you guys will see it um, it will start performing very weirdly um, the average FPS will be like 20 or 30 um, you'll see it soon like I feel it in manual already so let's just deploy as a rifleman and I don't know whether you guys can see it, so for you guys, you are seeing 30 FPS, 20 FPS, something like that. Okay. But what right. I am feeling That's more it, like a 10 FPS, it's really inconsistent, it does not feel like actual... It's It just doesn't feel playable, and you'll see my performance is shit. Um, maybe because, it's, be maybe because it simply is, but there is at least this bad computer um, factor, or at least bad setting factor. Because the computer is pretty capable, I mean, 12 gigs RAM... Uh, the GTX 1050, which is perfectly capable of handling this game at 1080p. And then of course, um, the Intel Xeon 6 core, which you would think to be a very capable processor, right? But apparently not, because we're getting 20 FPS average, and I think it's even less, or it feels like it's less. So it's not really playable, actually, at all. Okay, so let's close down the game. There we go. So CPU zero is doing all the work and the rest of the cores are just lagging behind, right? So it's like CPU zero is actually holding the rest of the cores back. Now, how do we fix this, right? How are we going to fix this? Because right now the performance that it is requiring, like this 30% on my GPU and 14% is just my recording, I suppose. Um, but let's look how to fix it, right? So, and the max stamps, as you guys can see, um, 60 degrees, I think. Like, that's not really... Um, oh, okay, it just refreshed. So, max stamps of, um, yeah, well, 100. It didn't go above 100, and yeah, I don't think... Uh, it's not bottlenecking, let's say, because lowest clock rates were 2.7 gigahertz, right? So, it can go uh, much lower than that, but it didn't. So, it seems like that is working, right? Now, let's go and check um, our beautiful program called Processor Lasso. So, if you install Processor Lasso, this is freeware, so it's not really... Um, I don't really like using it, because it's um, it has a pop-up, it says like, okay, you're using the free version, right? So it's not really nice to use, but like right now, I mean, it really just fixes the performance of the CPU. So, I mean, you gotta give some to get some, right? So, something like a task manager, right? You see your RAM, you see your CPU usage, you see the tasks that are running. So something like a task manager. Um, and just like um, task manager, you can change the CPU affinity. Now what that means is what threads do I want to use for what um, certain processes? And as you guys can see, uh, thread 0 to 11 is for almost uh, for every application. So 0 to 11 is the standard. Now and you can probably see this as well. Uh, the thread zero is literally constantly full almost, and the rest is 
like doing pretty much nothing except for some that are being used by uh, our OBS studio or our recording software. So let's go and uh, start the game again and uh, let's change it, right? It's that simple, right? You would think. So, no, nah, it's not easy anti-cheat. I want to get the CPU, um, the game, right? Insurgency easy anti-cheat, that's not it. That's uh, this one, but that's not the game. So let's wait. Oh, there it is. So Insurgency Client Windows 64, and if you take it a little bit further, you'll see Windows 64 shipping.execute. That is the actual game, right? So and uh, you see 0 to 11 is the uh, the uh, priority, uh, I'm sorry, the CPU affinity. So what I want to change is, I want to say, let's not uh, use uh, core 0, because you see it's going up to 100. Let's only use... Uh, let's disable core zero and do the rest of the work. And this is what you will see. And this is the same thing if you would try to do it with task manager. Because when I do it at task manager, same thing will say. So I go to insurgency sandstorm, I go to details, and then this is the program that we want to change, and then set uh, set affinity, and then disable CPU one uh, zero. I'm sorry, and then OK, and Bam! Access the night. How is this? Well, this is actually to do with the uh, easy anti-cheat. Some easy anti-cheat versions do not disable threat disabling, so they will just allow it. Others do not. So the problem here is that the anti-cheat is holding me back from changing this setting. So what that actually means is, I mean, insurgency launched, but it does not work probably, so, so it's still the same. It's still zero, 0 to 11. So clearly there's something else playing here. The easy anti-cheat. How do we go and set that up, right? Now, well, I found this setting, which is actually like, it's not, it's quite obvious. You launch a game again, and you see the easy anti-cheat is booting, and let's quickly change the easy anti-cheat, CPU affinity, to disable core 0. And you will see, it's not yet applied, but it should apply, like the rule is already set, but the um, CPU affinity is not yet changed. Anti-cheat is 1 to 11. So great, so that is applied right now. So apparently we can apply the easy anti-cheat. And now once you apply this, it will always apply it, every time you boot the computer, right? And that's the difference with Task Manager, it does not do that. Right, so that's why it's always uh, also um, important, like you need this software. And as you guys can see, the uh, Right, let's go back to that. The insurgency client is also running a 1 to 11. Great, right? So let's do the same thing as we were doing. Set up the task manager. Wait, oh, wow, the game launched actually quicker. Okay, so we got our character here. Let's deploy. Holy damn. So as you guys can see, the frames did not like increase by 10 folds or something, but it feels like it did really does like the game is so much smoother and then again I'm playing on medium settings I think I'm not sure actually yeah medium let's put it on low because again I'm playing only on the GTX 1050 and there we go 60 FPS this would not have been possible with the um... and then again I am recording here so uh, that is also badly influencing my I might not be the best at this game, but I think this is a pretty good, um, oh damn it, oh yeah, I'm dead. Let's go and close this down. And let's go and do f uh, do this for a couple of other games, right? And as you guys can see, obviously, the CPU performance is just amazing, right? So you can see all the cores are exactly doing about the same. Um, so this actually kind of proves it, right? You just disable core zero and it fixes quite a lot. Now let's go and check the old version of Insurgency. Here we go. So let's go and do Rifleman. Now remember, this game is a lot easier to run than the game we just played. And as you guys can see, frames are all over the place, right? And it feels so blocky and so um, unresponsive, I can say. Like, it's uh, it just does not play well, right? 17 FPS right now, 40. Like, it's saying 40, but it definitely is not 40, right? Okay, my keyboard is also strongly set. It's um, it's pretty unplayable. Oh, RPG. Okay, almost died there. Um, okay, 20 FPS. I think you get the gist, right? It's not really. Uh, let's see if I, okay, I, I don't think I'll be able to kill one person. Maybe if I, 
Okay, I actually did kill one. Oh god. And there we go, we're out of ammo, and I'm dead. Okay, you guys see what is happening, right? So let's go and close that down, and see. CPU, again, the things that are being used, like you see some minor usage on the other cores, that's purely because of my recording. Otherwise, those would be flat line. But CPU zero is, again, doing all the work. Let's quit the game, restart it with the right settings, right? CPU affinity, always. Okay, CPU zero is disabled. Let's go and test this out. Start. Is the game gonna load quicker? Uh, it seems like it does. I don't know. Maybe. Rifleman again. Apply that. Okay, we're seeing 100 FPS and the play is so much area. more smoother. So again, um, I'm still recording so my um, my performance out. will be less of course, but yours may vary. Um, and as you guys can see, it seems well, like uh, it's actually pretty capable of playing. Again, I am recording OBS, so um, but it feels better. Maybe I could lower some graphics uh, that might change because my GTX 1050 really does not like it. Okay, I'm playing very high graphics right now, but I think you guys can see the difference, right? I think I'll even be able to kill some people here. There we go. Did I hear a grenade? I don't know, not sure. There we go. I think you guys get the gist, right? Performance increased pretty dramatically. And not necessarily the frames. Because again, my, my graphics card, if you would see the, the usage on my graphics card, it's actually 100%. So frames don't increase, but like, uh, respawn time increases dramatically. Okay, Alpha is being taken. No hostiles at Alpha. No at Alpha. Great. Okay, we're getting shot from there. Whoa, that was an RPG. Okay. One's down. That one's down. So, okay main menu and again check our CPU times and again they are incredible right so again fix it for this game so guys I really advise you just install processor lasso it will save you a lot of time trying to fix this and in some instances it will even a bit enable you because um, like let's say sandstorm I would not be able to change the CPU affinity also I tried some startup settings like I think I can show you that you can set it up so that your uh, process starts with only one core, um, just by changing the properties of the, uh, the this one. Yeah, you can just look it up, but I mean, it worked for Rust, it worked for Insurgency, the, no the old edition. But for Sandstorm, again, did not work because of the anti-cheat. But again, guys, download Processor Lasso, it's free. Um, it will have some pop-ups sometimes, but again... The gain you get from downloading Processor Lasso is just great, so again, I really advise you guys to uh, do that one. Alrighty, so it seems like that one, that is everything. Um, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.